Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is to log into the back end of your agent site is to go to the mymetrobrokersonline.com website. So here I am on a web browser. So I'm going to go up to the address bar and start typing in mymetrobrokersonline.com. And since I've been there before, it automatically comes up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And this website is not the consumer website. It's just for um, MBI brokers. And there's lots of really relevant, important information on here for you to check out. For today's purpose, we want to log in. So we're going to go to the second tab over called Virtual Office and click on that tab. That is going to redirect us to the Metro Brokers Online site back end and to the Realtor Login panel. So you're going to want to know your username and password in order to log in. Your username is always your first name dot your last name at Colorado Home Stop dot com. This is not an actual email address. It is just your username. So you're going to type in your first name, whatever that is, dot your last name at coloradohomestop.com. And the password only you know. Um, we do not keep record of these passwords. So you want to make sure that you keep it somewhere that you remember. If it's your first time logging in, it's probably a temporary password, which is usually all lowercase, the word password and the number one. So I typed in password one there. And then you can check this box that says remember me on this computer if you are the only one that uses that computer. But then you want to go to the button that says login and click on that. And that is going to log you into the back end of your agent site. Uh, you will by default come to the message board, board page and this is an important page because it usually has um, pertinent information that you need to be aware of. Uh, sometimes uh, we will post upcoming classes on here as well. And if you want to change your password, you're going to go to the Site Admin tab and click on that. And then it's going to require you to type in your current password, your new password, and then to confirm your password. And then you will click on the Change button in order for those changes to make um, to, to take effect. So that is how you log in and change your password. I hope this video tutorial was helpful and I thank you for watching.